Hello, I'm Mary V. Today, let's talk about the real key to improving your bowing. So, open strings and long, slow bows, concentrating on the correct thing, which is the movement of your arm, the relaxation of your arm, while letting the bow just do its own thing using gravity, being unaffected by the muscles in your arm, is the key to understanding how to um, get a good bowing arm. It's actually facilitating the straightness of the bow, but it's not interfering with the action of the bow. And that's one of the first things that we should be learning about the bow, not how to control it or be rigid. It's about allowing ourselves to explore what the bow can actually do for us. The bow is an instrument, a beautifully designed instrument in its own right, and we need to take time to actually uh, discover it, explore it, because the more familiar we actually are with what the bow can actually do, what the weight of the bow actually is itself, the more expertise in bowing that we develop. So there's a number of things that you can think about. A consistent and very sympathetic contact point, the straightness of the bow, getting your muscles and, and everything out of the way of the action of the bow itself and allowing the default weight of the bow to make the sound. So you can change your attention to all these different things as you're doing it. For example, if you find that um, you can't go to the heel without tightening up, and then um, try to use your forearm to slightly lift the bow. That's what actually we do. We compensate for the heaviness of the bow by slightly lifting our arm. So if I don't do that, you'll hear how um, tense the sound becomes very, very heavy. So you can see by compensating and naturally lightening by slightly lifting the bow while it's still on the string, it becomes natural and very easy to change the bow at the heel. So have a look at my forearm here. Also, by using my forearm that way, I don't have to have an exaggerated wrist movement that's trying to control the change of bow at the heel. It's much more difficult doing that because you're breaking the flow that should come from the back of the arm here towards the, the bow. So it's really all about being aware of which muscles you're actually using, trying to make it all very smooth and basically trying to guide the bow to be straight um, and have a consistent uh, contact point and to try to be able to play a whole bow up and down without any bounces, squeaks or uh, interruptions is really up to um, the arm and the hand allowing the bow to do its thing because the bow can do it perfectly smoothly. And if we're tight, we're just interfering with the action of the bow. So it seems very simple just to do open strings, but as a matter of fact, it's the um, foundation of bowing expertise. And it gives you a touch for the bow that allows you to understand what the weight of the bow is at any point during the bow, because you've got out of the way of trying to control it and you're experiencing it. That's the difference. 
So I hope you get on well with your open strings and I'll leave it there. Bye for now. Bye.